All right. Today, I'm talking about what I carried, what type of bag I carried to Santiago, Chile. You know, travel light, travel more. I think that's the saying. But first, you're gonna need one of these. US, not US passport, but any passport. Any passport so you can go on your trip and also come back home. The portable charger, you can take inputs and outputs be able to charge devices and also charge anchor. The anchor. I'm gonna start calling this anchor. Yeah, it charges up my phone pretty well. I haven't tried it yet with the iPad, but I'm pretty sure it does the same. It's advertised to do so. So that, that's that. Next, you're gonna need sketchbooks. Definitely in my field, because you need to be documenting everything, even for notes and just small little sketches. I like using these. I haven't used this one yet. That's empty. I like that one. I like this. Sketches Doodles Big Ideas from Callison, RTKL. I got this from the AIAS conference. Yeah, got that from them. Very cool. I always have these. Always. Next, you're gonna need locks. Locks to lock up your stuff when you're not in the hostel or anywhere else, you know. We're not fancy, can't afford hotels, so just lock your stuff up. Next favorite, this is a microfiber towel and they come in different sizes, but this one is like the large and it does what it needs to be done. So use this towel just like a towel and it's, it's quick dry, so dries quickly and it's able to be stored back in the bag. You never know what the weather's going to be, so you need to carry a jacket. I actually carried another jacket, it was like a fleece, but this one, very portable, it's light, doesn't, doesn't gather a lot of heat, so that's what I enjoy about this, it's light. And then the hood stows away in this little compartment. Take it out when you need it. Always wanted a jacket like this. Store the hood away. And if I fold this correctly, I probably could fold this down to be more compact. But next time, I'll, I'll worry about that. Last but not least, the bag to carry everything in and my clothes. This is pretty much my main carry. I use this as a book bag too. The, the Tartuga Outbreaker. Yeah, Outbreaker. And Pretty pricey, but it's worth it. It's durable. It's tough, tough, tough material. It's also water, water resistant and dust resistant, so it's durable. Bulky has these shoulder pads in it, help cushion the back. It also comes with the the hip hip straps, but I didn't use them because the bag wasn't that heavy. And then you can adjust the height here with this here, but keeping that there, that's at my height. The compartments on this thing are two front pockets and then there's the first outer shell opens up like this quick to store sketchbooks things like that small things place to put your keys and stuff in here or a fidget spinner up just like this all this space kind of like a briefcase kind of like a briefcase there's these two pouches here like um, packing cubes already attached in and then there's these two side panels you can roll up nice roll up your shirts and you can probably fit a good three on each side and then this just fits everything and it's very expandable material, so you can stuff a lot in here. And the last compartment is right here by the back side. And it opens up like this. Hold this. There's three more packing cube type pouches, meshes. And then in here, 
Got to, I forgot these were in here. Money belt, you know, keep your credentials safe and on you. And then on the other side, where the bag straps are, it's more like a tech pouch. Here you can store tablet or important documents. And it's also, oh, that's where the iPad goes. And this is where the laptop goes. It's a bigger pouch, so that's about it. I would strongly recommend this bag. If only you can get it at a discount. A little pricey. $225. And scene. Alright, that's a wrap. Travel Essentials. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and I'll see you soon.